guys. Um, just uh, doing another video up there regarding the um, Expert 1K amplifier. Got it hooked up to my FT2000. So now, when I actually turn on the FT2000, like I'm gonna now. On comes the Expert 1K. So, now this is the back. It's just a picture. It's not the real thing. But this is the back of the Expert uh, 1K. Uh, one, two, three, four inputs for your antennas. One, two inputs for different uh, radios, so you can actually have two radios connected. And there's your in one, in two, uh, your CAT, your relay, your ALC. So I've got mine into input one, and the only connections I've got on the Expert 1K is the CAT. I got my cable from uh, Ron at Vine, uh, same as where the amplifier's from. So what I've got, I've got in number one, uh, antenna room one, I've got a four element quad. Antenna two is the MTD3, uh, 4080 and 160 uh, wire antenna. And three is my, or one of my cobwebs, but that's on the tower. And then I'm into input one with the uh, 2000. Got the cables for 847, but I'm not using that at the moment. I'm gonna get this sorted out first. And then straight into the CAT. So from, um, the FT2000 you've got uh, your band data that's a cable you've got so band data coming out there and your external ALC so they're the only two connections so cable band data ALC onto one cable coming out and then that goes straight back into the expert 1k cat part and that's it that's your cabling done. So, if you can buy the cabling, a £30 each uh, from Ron at Vine, but at least you know they're all going to be working. Sorry about that ding ding every now and again, that's emails coming in. Um, let me just pop this just here. And on the 1K, what I've got in one. That's because I'm just using uh, the first input, band 40 metres, antenna 2, because I'm using three antennas. Cat is the ASU and only half power. So all you need to do when you're first going to set this up, go to set, go down to cat, press set again. It'll come up and all you need to do is click on band data, click set. And that's it. Right, next, uh, go back into set, up to antennas, or antenna, click that. And what you've got, um, because don't forget one, two and three, that's the antennas I've got in. And you can actually put uh, up to two antennas onto uh, something like, say 160. I've got my MTD3 in there on uh, port 2, but I've got nothing else that'll go on there. Same as all the way down to 30 metres. But for 20 metres, I've got my uh, four element tri bander. That's on number one, that's the main antenna. And I've put in antenna number three, which is my cobweb. So all I have to do is on the bottom here, antenna there, I just click that or press the, the little switch there and it changes between one and three so i can either use the beam or i can use the cobweb same as 17 i'm just using the cobweb on there 15 beam and cobweb 12 cobweb 10 meters beam and cobweb so for 30 40 80 and um, top band all set in two because they're just with the, the mtd so once you've set all that just press set and um, you come out so let's go all the way down. 
and as you can see six meters have not put anything on there so you just go to save press save save in the data and that's it and when you actually want to do the autom automatic ATU in the Expert 1K um, the sheets that you get or the manual I don't know I've, I haven't read them 100% because um, like many amps you don't and uh, it's a pain in the backside but then I, I gathered I understood it a little bit more so let me just pop down onto uh, 20 meters um, I've got my beam on there I've set my uh, power level on my FT2000 to 12 watts so what you do you go onto FM RTTY FM uh, anything CW as long as you got a carrier so you go to FM and then just on the side here you can see what it says tune so what you actually do is you key your mic up so the mic's keyed now and I've got 10 watts there and press tune then all of a sudden starts whirling and there you go the SWR now is 1.02 and I've got 10.9 watts PEP so all I have to do is either stay on um, FM and if you want to go into operate don't forget I'm only using uh, half power because it is one kilowatt so leave it on half and normally around about 10 I think 10 or 12 watts you'll get about just over 400 watts and whatever loss you've got in your coax that'll be ok because that'll uh, work itself out so you press um, operate so now it's ready to actually start operating and all you need to do is key up and with let me just make sure on the power yeah that's 12 watts 12 watts and I've got 576.3 watts PEP so that's what it's using so with a loss in that um, it'll knock the power down so you've got to, you've really got to use between I'd say 8 and 10 watts let me just knock it down to uh, 8 watts that's 8 watts now I've just knocked it down to and as you see 460.4 456 that's what I'm doing at the moment uh, temperature 31 32 degrees C you can change it to Fahrenheit or, or Celsius in the set part um, all the rest you can change that on the set and we come out of operate go back into set and as you see C standby contest mode B pon backlit I've changed the backlit so you can actually be shown on um, my little uh, Android book manual tune if you want and you've got your, your cat in your antenna so it's very very easy to use uh, the Expert 1K is it's just getting used to it I've still got my BLA 350 just down below I'll put it in the box at the moment so I ain't got that much room in here and um, it's an absolutely fantastic antenna uh, sorry uh, ATU so you can use anything on it really so it just depends if you've got uh, the expert 1k or you're thinking of getting it um, it's fantastic very easy to use easy to set up once you've got your your leads and everything um, and it does everything for you and straight out of the box fully automatic so you don't have to wait any, any uh, tune up time no waiting as soon as it comes on with the radio you're up and uh, working it straight away ok if, if you've got anything that you want me to go through because uh, if you're thinking about getting an expert 1k so if you've got anything you're thinking about you want me to have a look at uh, then I'll do it and post another video um, the only thing I've not used CCLL that's to actually doing your, your manual tuning and that 
um, I've put it on fully automatic as you can see from here so absolutely fantastic best buy I've had for quite a while and it actually works brilliant with the uh, FT2000 okay guys enjoy from M0AOV